Hello. Hello. So uh, today we're gonna make a mushroom chicken and Alfredo sauce calzone, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it East Coast style. So what you're gonna need for this calzone is uh, some portobello mushroom, um, some cheese. This is mozzarella cheese, some Alfredo sauce. Bertoli is pretty good, and chicken breast diced up. And the last thing you need is some dough. I usually go to a pizza shop up the street and grab it. They charge you for like a slice of pizza, but it's really good and it's quick and easy. So now I'm gonna cut the mushroom up. It's gonna look like a lot, but with the sauce and the heat from the oven, the mushrooms are gonna kind of melt down and go into the sauce. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grate the cheese up. So what we're gonna do now is uh, cook the chicken because you know, it can't go in the uh, calzone raw like that. I usually put a little bit of Alfredo sauce on there, give it a little, a little bit of juice. When you're cooking the chicken, you know, you could just cover all the chicken with sauce, stir it up, just make sure it's all flat on the pan. After it's been a couple minutes, stir it up, flip all the pieces over, cook them on the other side, and it should take about four or five minutes for it to be done. So now you're gonna preheat your oven to uh, 450 degrees. And when that's done, you're gonna put it in for eight minutes and then we're gonna take it off the pan, put it back in for a couple minutes with some wash on it. It's just gonna make it nice golden brown and it's gonna be buttery. All right, so now we're just gonna roll out the dough. It comes with some flour on it. You can add some more if you need to. Kind of stretch it on the ends. You don't want to stretch it from the middle because then the middle will get too thin and it will just rip or stick to the pan. So once you have it kind of out like this, you can stretch like that. You can let it hang over the edge a little bit. Just give it a little stretch. Then you can grab it, stretch it with your hands if you need to make it bigger. So after you have the dough spread out like a pizza, you want to get your pan and pick some of the extra flour, sprinkle it over the pan take your dough and just lay it down kind of like a triangle formation square whatever just take half the cheese sprinkle it in the middle like that so then you're going to take some mushroom make it wide you know now i'm going to take some of the sauce drizzle it over the mushrooms like that and that is just going to give it amazing flavor i'm going to take the chicken that you cooked just drizzle it on there and you're going to put the rest of the mushrooms on there Maybe uh, a little more sauce, and then the rest of the cheese is gonna go in. That is just gonna be magnificent. <laughs> so after you have all the ingredients in there, take it from the side, stretch it out a little bit. You wanna take this half, and just fold it over, get it like, like so. Take the other half, fold it over nice. Kinda squeeze the sides shut. Pinch this stuff together, you know, just a little bit. You want to take a little bit more of that flour, sprinkle it on there, flip it into the fold. Nothing will fall out. Oh, get it sides, sideways. Just take a knife, give it a couple fancy little angled cuts. Let the air out. You're gonna put that in for eight minutes. And by that time, it's already gonna be ridiculous, but we're gonna go ahead and put a little extra on it when the time comes. So if you want to get fancy with it and make a nice little topping that isn't too hard to make at all, this is what you can do. I'm going to take some fresh garlic, give it a nice little crack to get that skin off. Chop the garlic up. Once you have the garlic chopped nice and fine like that, you just pick it up, put it into a bowl, take about a nice hunk of butter, probably like three or four tablespoons, whatever. Add a tiny bit of salt and some black pepper too if you want. And then just throw it in the microwave for however long it takes for the butter to melt, probably about a minute to two minutes. Just make sure you put this heavenly goodness on after the butter concoction comes out of the microwave. So then you add the um, Parmesan cheese, you know, give it some thickness, and that's it. So. Now it's been uh, about eight minutes. Take the uh, calzone out. It's nice and golden brown, as you can see. And you just want to shake it 
off the pan, right on the rack like that. Give it a little shake. It'll take off some flour that's on the bottom, you know, you can brush it off. Then you're gonna take butter, garlic concoction and slather that up. You know, some falls. It's all good. And then throw that back in for two minutes. Calzone's done, it's ready to come out. And um, it's nice and brown. The garlic's melted on top. You're just gonna slide it onto a cutting board or whatever you're gonna cut it with. Let it sit, chill for about five to ten minutes because it's gonna be hotter than you can stand anyways. And you can set the table or whatever. Watch us uh, destroy this cow's home. <laughs> Filled up on calzones, you can come out in your back alley and find something to skate. We just uh, came up on this little bench right here. I want to take this thing out, skate it. That's it. Till next time. What do you think about when you think of the calzone? I think about Jesus. 